Um, you were uh, on fire there at the toward the end of the game. Uh, did they change the way they defended you uh, to deny you the ball in like the last five and a half minutes? I don't think you got a shot off. I don't think so. No, I think it was just uh, their zone. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, that's that's on me too. Just uh, in that situation, I think when I'm shooting the ball well and uh, we're trying to make a little comeback, and yeah, if, if I'm making shots, I want to try to be more aggressive, just calling for the ball and talk to my teammates, try to get me looks. And uh, but yeah, I think that's one thing I could have done better uh, to close that game out against Colorado. What did Colorado do defensively that you guys can learn from? Know how to attack it now? Maybe they gave you unscouted looks or something like that with the with their zone. A little yeah, bit. I think they just ran a, a really good two three zone. I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't think we were as aggressive as we needed to be against it, too, because you play into the hands of the defense playing a zone if you're patient uh, up front and just kind of staring at it for uh, however long. So uh, I think, yeah, just uh, we just can uh, make improvements based on ourselves in that game. They played a look at zone, like I said. But yeah, I think it's, it's really going to come down to how well uh, we can be aggressive offensively and just find good looks for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Chris was just talking about how when the offensive shots aren't falling, that you guys kind of let that seep over on the defensive end. How do you, as a leader, kind of make sure that that's not going to happen. Yeah, because I mean, that's that's the thing. That's that's why you play the games. I mean, shots aren't always going to fall for a team on a given night. So yeah, I think uh, that a backbone of a strong team has to be there, how they play on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, that's something you can do consistently every night, just through effort and energy and uh, just talking and being in the right spot. So yeah, I think uh, in, in, in any game, you can't uh, let your shots, uh, just whether you're making or missing them, uh, kind of uh, change your uh, effort in the game. You can't just be relying on making or missing shots to to be making shots to make you want to play more defense or be missing shots and not playing defense. Defense has to be consistent and then you'll get good looks offensively and just good things will happen for the game. It seems, like the, it seems like a lot of your three point attempts have come from the corner. Is that just the spot where uh, you're most comfortable or is that just what comes with the flow of the offense? It kind of what comes, I think, especially against zones, corner threes are probably one of the most open uh, looks for me. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of just the way it's kind of worked out to get a, a lot of good uh, looks from corner threes. Have you sensed like a, that was that was a tough loss for you guys? Like a resolve uh, to to kind of put that behind you and move forward in a positive way now? Definitely, yeah. I think we had a really great practice yesterday. I think we came in ready to work, which is important after a loss like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is a huge week for us. Obviously, going up to the Oregon schools, and but I think we'll uh, be ready to go and just yeah, be learning uh, from our mistakes and just be focusing on uh, playing a better 40 minutes of defense and just trying to be more aggressive offensively to find good looks. Do you think after the two or three games there where you guys are shooting like 50% from three, that kind of factored in? Maybe you guys were taking too many threes, you're becoming too reliant on it going into the Colorado game a little bit? Maybe a little bit, yeah, because I mean, uh, in, in situations like that, when you're making so many threes, you might fall into uh, the notion that you'll just make the next one just because you have been shooting it so hot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too. I mean, I think even with that, we're a very good shooting team, and it's something we can take advantage of. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we just didn't play defense. That's really what it comes down to and uh, what we need to uh, fix going into this road trip. Do you think the mask is going to make the trip to Oregon? Yes. No. <laughs> It'll be coming with me. I'll probably be wearing it. And just, yeah, taking it day by day right now to see how long it takes to heal up. You still wearing it in practice? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so you guys are obviously seeing more zone defense. Uh, has Coach Alford given more of an emphasis on offensive rewarding, knowing that the defenses are more likely to play zone? Offensive rebounding? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, I think. Uh, with uh, zone defenses, that's one thing that you kind of give up uh, by being in set spots versus guarding a man. Uh, if you send guys to the glass, you can uh, get some good looks to get second opportunities just because there are no uh, designated blockouts uh, that there would be in a man uh, defense. So yeah, I think uh, getting second opportunities is going to be big for us if, if teams continue to zone us. All right, thanks.